So, Emma, how about Paul? It's a bit of an in-between me, isn't it? Is it gonna go with whites? Is it gonna go with reds? What's your opinion? I think actually, the interesting thing about pork, as you say, it is very much in between. It can go with both. The thing with pork that you've really got to be aware of is the meat itself is rather lean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you have this beautiful little <laughs> outlying area, which is very fatty. We could go two ways. You could say, so pork roast, um, where you've got that crackling, then you really need something with really good acidity. And if you think about it, it's back, back to what goes together, grows together again. Um, so roast pork with apple sauce. Yeah. Roast pork with Riesling mm. works beautifully, especially with a kind of Spätlaser, uh, Spätlaser cabinet kind of on the richer side Spätlaser from Germany is absolutely gorgeous because the wine almost forms the the kind of the Second apple sauce, sauce flavor yeah. yeah so you've got your apple sauce and then you've got your apple sauce in your glass as well you know what could not be more perfect i feel the same about shannon new oh, world absolutely. shannon i love when it's got that appley flavor and it's the apples there the acidity and you've there. got the acidity yeah. as well and that's what's so important because um again because pork's quite dense if you have it with something that's very rich and heavy the meat itself is quite rich and heavy. Mm -hmm. And so what you don't want to, your, to be doing is, for you've made all the effort to cook your roast dinner, you are into your third mouthful and you're thinking, I'm exhausted, <laughs> I am so tired, I think I might not finish my meal, I'm just going to go to bed. Um, you want something that kind of keeps you perked up, that you can kind of just keep drinking, eating, drinking, eating, and the two go side by side, symbiotically. One so, of the strangest combinations I ever had, and I've only had it once, um, was roast pork and champagne. Really? But it was a vintage champagne, so it had that lovely apple Oh my gosh, I could imagine that, that would really work. Apple. Yeah. Um, I'm not in the business of drinking vintage champagne with my roast pork. <laughs> I, I was wish I say, was. where were you? Mm. And could I come, please? Yes. <laughs> no, but again, you, you're the same thing. You've got the high acidity yeah. and you've got that kind of really apple flavour. Yeah. And let's face it, champagne's just yum and it makes everybody feel happy. Um, other options, they're not so high acidity and this is back to what are you pairing your roast pork with, so what have you got as your additions. If you've got a lot of things like kind of quite earthy like parsnips mm -hmm. and you know you're going into autumn and winter, you might want to put it with a Pinot Gris. Again you've still got that little bit of appliness but you're just a little bit richer. Yeah. Or with your red wines, anything like so. Pinot obviously works. Um, Gamay, which is often overlooked, <laughs> works really well as well. Or you could go, if you're going with quite big kind of side dishes as well. So, you know, you talked about the kind of spiced and the, the red yeah. currants and all the rest of it. Um, then you could do some Grenache okay, with yeah. that as well. But I think ultimately, most importantly, whatever you do is make sure you like the wine you're pairing it with. You've gone to the effort of actually cooking the meal. It's really soul destroying if you then put it with a wine that you don't want to drink. Agreed. Where's the fun in that? Agreed. So, cheers. Cheers. <laughs>